on a rare visit to a Hong Kong-style Western restaurant. Let's order some authentic dishes. Baked Portuguese-style chicken, Samus ox tongue, pilau chicken over rice, Russian-style shredded beef over rice. Which one is authentic? Hong Kong-style Western cuisine is a fusion of Chinese and Western food culture. As I read the menu, I thought we would travel the world. The dish that we shall introduce also has a foreign-sounding name. Swiss chicken wings. Hi, chef. What are we going to make with all these ingredients? The Swiss sauce. What are the ingredients? Dark soy sauce, soy sauce, thick soy sauce, rock candy, cooking wine, these are the key ingredients. Yeah. We use dark soy sauce for the color, soy sauce for the flavor, mm -hmm. and cooking wine for the aroma. This chicken broth is the most important. Yeah. It is prepared with chicken, pork mm -hmm. bone, ginger, carrot, and Chinese celery. Cook everything in the broth for six hours, then use it to make the Swiss sauce. What is the base of the Swiss sauce? The sauce base, we never throw it away. This is the base. When it becomes too thick, we add yeah. the chicken broth to balance it. Yeah. When an order for Swiss chicken wings mm -hmm. comes in, immerse these in the Swiss sauce for 20 minutes. Mm. Why not use mid-joint wings? Many customers enjoy nibbling the tips, and whole wings look more decent. It looks less so with mid-joint wings. Am I doing it right? Yes. Should I keep stirring? Yes. Mm. You must keep stirring. Why? Stir, then take them out. To inspect them. To see if the color is mm. consistent. It smells great. 15 to 20 minutes will do. 20 minutes, no matter how many wings? Yes. Oh, I see. Chef, is it ready to serve? Yes. Grip it by the tip to prevent tearing. There is a technique to grip. Plate them nicely. Fill up the empty space to make it look presentable. Ah. Chef, what is this? The soul of the dish. Sesame oil. Sesame oil. How much is needed? Swirl a full circle. Like this? Yes. Okay. Done. And drizzle some Swiss sauce on. This will help to evenly distribute the sesame oil. Mmm. Smells wonderful. Swiss chicken wings is a dish we have been enjoying since we were little, but it did not come from Switzerland. How did it acquire this name? Whenever we talk about soy sauce, Western cuisine, we always mention Swiss chicken wings. But it has nothing to do with Switzerland. There was a story behind the word Swiss in its name. Someone came to a restaurant and tasted its chicken wings cooked with soy sauce, but with a tinge of sweetness. The waiter did not speak much English. He mistook the word sweet as Swiss. This beautiful mistake gave rise to the Swiss chicken wings. In the old days, customers of soy sauce, Western cuisine, were mainly middle class or above. They had money to spare. A traditional Western meal costed a lot, but soy sauce, Western cuisine was a fusion of Chinese and Western food. Though it was relatively expensive, it was affordable to most local Chinese. The menu of a Hong Kong-style Western restaurant not only lists all the fusion dishes, but it also offers us a glimpse into the culture and perception in the past. In those days, people had little access to information of foreign foods, and therefore had limited knowledge. A dish named after a foreign country was far more appealing and could charge a higher price. The customers would believe that they were indeed enjoying Western food, of course, after all these years, we all know they are not made the authentic way. This is just a beautiful misunderstanding. I know that this restaurant is a century-old family business. What does it mean to you? Surely it means a lot. It is an honor to manage a century-old shop. But there is also a lot of pressure, too. Because you think you must make it better and never ruin its name. I hope that I can preserve this restaurant, this traditional business with a distinct food culture and be able to pass it on so that it will not disappear.